I'm going to start by asking you, how do you know Maheen Khan? So to begin, I, uh, I remember he was uh, the new kid in my English class, I think freshman year, and I had always kind of befriended the kids from other countries or new kids because I like to learn about other cultures um, and just kind of see, you know, how, who he was as a person and maybe I could make a new friend. Um, and this was, you said you're a freshman year of high school. What high school is that? That was at Foothills, Catalina Foothills. And what year would that be? Oh, man. Like, how old are you now? I'm, I'm 17, about to turn 18. Okay. So, are you going to be a senior? Yeah. Okay, so this is your freshman year? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, so, uh, what was he like? Uh, he was quiet, um... But it was not long, and he started to get very strange. Um, he, ha- at one point, had actually asked to purchase a firearm from me. And I obviously turned him down, because uh, that, that's a very weird question. He asked to purchase a gun from you? Yeah. Do you n- normally sell guns to other students? No, I don't sell guns at all. I'm 17 years old. Uh, so, so what was your reaction when he asked you that? I said, no. Like, no, dude, that that's not how things work. Did you ask him what he wanted it for? No, I didn't really pursue, uh... He, he was very difficult to talk to, but he... He had seemed to have taken me up as a friend. Um, and so he was a little more open with me. And me and my friend had hung out with him a lot uh, at lunch trying to help him assimilate into Foothills. Um, did he have a lot of other friends in high school? No. He mostly kept to himself? Yeah, very quiet, kind of uh, more of an outsider. But we were trying to help him because we could tell he needed some friends. How long would you say you were friends with him for? Probably a month at the max. And then what happened? Was there a time where you said, hey, let's not hang out anymore? Uh, yeah, he started to uh, express some of his political views to me um, in person. He would, at one point, he went as far as to say that what Hitler did was good. Um, and he told me that he did not like the Jewish people. And, and that's when I realized that he was, he was not a normal person. Uh, and there was seriously some stuff wrong with him. And uh, it was not long after that that he was beginning to tag me on Facebook in all of these like calls to jihad posts and stuff for radicalized Islam. Uh, so this was a few years ago, at least two years ago, you said, right? Yeah. Um, were you still Facebook friends with him after that? Like, how did he kind of change oh, after your relationship? I immediately blocked him, untagged myself, reported him. I, I tried to distance myself as far from him as I could because I knew there was something seriously wrong there. You said you reported him. Who did you report him to? Uh, well, I reported his account on Facebook. I tried to report him at Foothills, but they didn't do anything. So you told somebody at Foothills about this and they didn't do anything? Right, and another one of my friends did the same thing. and got. Uh, I believe he was called a racist, but I don't want to you know, add gossip to anything. Um, who'd you report it to? An administrator? A teacher? Administrator. I did the, uh, anonymous tip hotline they have there, but, uh, nothing came of it. And how long ago was that? That was all after he was doing the stuff on Facebook and starting to show his true colors. I did it immediately, so freshman year. And he, how long did he go to Catalina Foothills High School for? He... I remember he didn't exactly, uh, nobody really noticed when he get, when he was gone. I just noticed one day he stopped showing up. So I, I can't give you an exact time, but it was very brief. Probably okay. only a month or two. Okay. Um, so what was your reaction when you heard about this most recent, him being a terror suspect? I knew it. That was my reaction, uh. I, I saw his picture, and I immediately knew what happened, that, that he was suspected of it. So you weren't surprised at all? No. I mean, 
I mean, I wasn't surprised that it was him who was suspected, but uh, I think you can never be not surprised if someone is charged with that. So he did used to have social media because we've been kind of searching and it seems that he doesn't have any. Do you know at what point he kind of got rid of Facebook or Twitter? It, no, I I just had him on Facebook and I, when I blocked him, I I can't unblock him or find him ever again. So. Uh, That's... Do you happen to have any pictures you ever took with him? You guys were friends hanging out? No. No, we never, uh, we never got that close. <laughs> okay. Um... What is your reaction, you know, kind of being in Tucson and knowing that there's somebody like this living in your area, going to your high school? I always felt really unsafe after he was gone. I was worried he would he would come back to Foothills in a more hostile way. Uh, and so I, I had actually always been somewhat uncomfortable there after him. So you were pretty much his only friend that you know of? Yeah, I mean, it was... My best friend at the time and I would always hang out with him and try to reach out to him. So I guess my other friend was his friend. When he left Catalina Foothills, do you know where he went? Was he being homeschooled? I don't know. I was actually quite curious myself. I I assumed that he had gotten caught with all of these uh, radical ideas and that was enough to get him gone. I don't know. Um, talk to me a little bit more about, you said he got into politics, um... Talk to me a little bit more about what he would say to you. So, I mean, when he, he would go and, uh, let me see, it, it's been a while. Um, we would talk about a global issue or something, and he would go and immediately blame Jewish people, or anytime you'd hear something about the Middle East, he would be, like, in something America has done in the Middle East, he would become really mad. He would always... Talk, tell me how much he did not like America. What I said to him was, why are you here? And that, if you, don't, if you feel that way. Um, so you haven't actually spoken to him in about two years, is that right? Two, three Correct. years? Correct. I, I distanced myself because he was pretty scary. Okay. Um, and you told administration at Catalina Foothills that he asked to buy a firearm from you? No. Um, he, I don't know, I guess... At, at this time in my life and at such a young age for both of us, you don't tend to take anybody seriously at that age. So I thought he was just the weird kid who wanted to go shoot or something. Um, and so I didn't bother mentioning that because at the time it didn't really make a big impact on me. Um, was it I, after that that you stopped being friends or after he started tagging you and weird things on it, Facebook? Yeah, the minute I started getting... Those weird photos on Facebook and all of that, I realized that I really needed to distance myself from him. So other than reporting him on Facebook and at your school, you never called authorities 